give me one second. There's a spider and I have to kill it. It's going to piss me off. <laughs> Can't feel it, can't feel it Looks like another rainy day Try to stay sober so you'll stay Think that fucked up so I feel sane But I manage, yeah, I manage I don't get panicked anymore What's going on, man? How are you? Dude, as you can see, this is a this is the first this is the only human contact I have right here. What? Where's your your girl's not coming over? What? She lives up the street with her dad. Her dad like works with like people that have to have dialysis, so like he drives people to like a dialysis center every week. So okay. it's so not like the best clean. being clean. So you guys be out. really careful. Not make sense. No, he's he is super careful. I'm just. I'm freaked out. I have anxiety. I can't handle that shit. What about your fam? Dude, my fam is chilling in Connecticut. Everyone's, you know, just hanging out at home, bunkering. My dad's playing golf every day. Uh, by himself? Uh, with my mom. He just walks the course. <laughs> my mom walks the course. Oh, she, oh, well, she's getting some exercise. That's a good Yeah, thing. they get outside, so they enjoy it. But it's weird, man. It's freaking weird. Yeah. Um, what have you been up to? Stuck in here. I mean, I started these things, and then all of a sudden, everyone's like, yeah, no, I'm not going anywhere. So Yeah, exactly. I don't know what... Uh, yeah, so... But through the research that I've been doing, I've noticed that people have been doing them this way, so I'm like, screw it. No, I've seen... I've seen a, uh, hold on, let me move my microphone a little closer. I've seen a lot of people have been doing that as well. I mean, it's a good way of social distancing, plus we're still giving content and entertainment and everything. For sure. I've been trying to figure out, because, like, as you know, I play live music for a living, so I'm trying to figure out a new way to basically... No, let me turn this off. Phone. I'm going to figure out a new way to make an income still doing music, but not leaving my house, which is uh, interesting. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess you could do, I mean, everyone's doing the um, live, live videos, live videos, you could do that. Um, I've been doing that. I've also been doing like guitar lessons online. I've had a lot of like clients that I played for, like asked me to write a song about like a birthday party or like someone like that. So I've been getting, getting paid to do that, which is cool. I've also been trying to do stuff for like uh, commercials, movies, TV, just not even like submitting, but just having like an arsenal of songs to be ready to go if someone does need something. Um, and then uh, there's Cameo too. Can you make money off of Cameo? What's Cameo? Uh, I've got some celebrity friends that use it. It's this. It's technically the same thing, um, but they'll pay you, you know, twenty bucks or twenty five bucks to sing something happy birthday or i mean it's celebrities so they kind of want but you may have enough fans that may want you to sing to them directly okay and then you saying. can and then you can set the price that's pretty cool yeah and uh you know 20 bucks or 25 bucks and they'll and they'll just give you everything that you need to say and you just hold the phone up in front of you or do it this way and just anything hey, right so. now would be great hopefully the stimulus bill that's going to be passed will help uh gig musicians and everything like that but 1200 bucks in california doesn't really go that far no and that's for what the month or a week yeah. or so that All covers right. my groceries <laughs> yeah pretty much <laughs> have you gone shopping uh i've done online shopping i've been like amazon whole foods where they deliver to me oh i went on amazon the other day and they were like yeah no we can't we're, you and I live blocks away from each other. You so have to refresh it every 10 seconds to get a, like, if you go to Amazon and you go to Whole Foods or Fresh, it's Fresh and Whole Foods. Um, yeah, it was on Fresh. Yeah, that's what I've been using too. I got it at three o'clock in the morning. I just kept on refreshing and then it said this time was available and I pushed it. Oh, okay. But I had to wait for like three days. Yeah, no, I don't care about that. I mean, 
I went to this rouse that's up near our house. Yep. And there was nothing. Like Yeah, nothing. I know. There's no, there's literally Kayla Kayla goes to trade at my girlfriend Kayla. She goes to Trader Joe's. Um but I don't want dude, I'm just so anxious. I do not want to go out in public with freaking that's like the worst place to be is a market. Yeah. Well, I mean, I I needed food. I, there was nothing no, I could do. I couldn't get. I get it. So I drove all the way out to a Ralph's in like Sunland, and I had to wait in line. There were a bunch of people outside. I was like fourth in line, but yeah. I was there for like maybe eight minutes, ten minutes outside, and then they let us in, and there was a ton of food in there. I'm that's not telling great. anyone where that is, but that's it's exactly. Weird. Like, it's so weird, man. I it's um. It's funny. People with like masks on, like they're obviously being safe, but I try to avoid my avoid being next to a person that's wearing a mask. Yeah. Because you don't know if they're sick. No. I'm like, I'm not trying to fuck with that. Yeah, no, I don't want to mess with that either. It's fucking weird, dude. COVID-19. Fucking shit up. This is killing us right now. I mean, it's even, it's worse. I mean, you know, like you are, you know, you're technically a struggling musician and, you know, you don't have any sort of support that way and and your your main profit is, you know, because I watch... A lot of comedians uh, podcast, Tom Segura and Whitney yeah. and, and Tom's Nikki. Hilarious. Yeah, Tom's awesome. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of like the lower end, we'll say, or I don't know, I don't know how to pronounce, you middle know, middle class. Middle, <laughs> not, yeah, but comedians basically who are working check to check. And on top of that, like they're talking about the comedy store and Laugh Factory and improv, those waitresses and those bartenders and the people that work there, they're, you know, they work check to check too. So sure. it's tough. There's no way. I don't even know how. We're sure, we're sure, we're, if we're not already in it, we're going into a recession 100%. Yeah. You think? Without a doubt. Huh? I, th- I think, but my dad's really big into. I really bitch go off whatever my dad says. He's a pretty, he, he knows what's going on with the stock market. He follows it very well. Um, yep. We're going to go into recession. I'm going to say probably like middle of June, things are going to be really low. And then hopefully it picks back up after summer. Yeah. Um, so you think we're stuck here for sure. They're not, we're not getting out of, out of these houses anytime soon. Not for at least two months, at least. That's probably even more. Yeah, no, twelve hundred dollars is not gonna cut it for sure. No, it's um, Trump said Easter. That's hilarious. Yeah. Uh, um, well, I'm a Jew. When is Easter? April uh, what? Second week in Saturday uh, in April. Okay. I think we're gonna be. I think people will be out of work until like July. I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong, but I yeah, think yeah. it's gonna be until July at least. At least the mayor yesterday of Los Angeles said we need to be stuck for two months. I mean, it makes sense. You know, like I'm not watching real, I'm, you know, I have CNN on once in a while or news, but I'm, I'm not really listening to him or anybody in that whole, you know, that big white house that they live in. Yeah. But I am look, listening to that doc, Dr. Fauci for sure. It's hard to see, it's hard to do, uh, figure out what's fake and what's not fake. And it's hard to, figure out what's good news and bad news because they like emphasize so much on the bad news that you don't really know that there is a lot of good news too. Right. But um, overall it's pretty shitty. <laughs> yeah. But they're also, uh, you know, you have to, you don't want, you know, he was being like, Oh, you'll be out in a week or two weeks, you know, yeah. that kind of stuff. But, and they're going, no, you won't. They rather be like, listen, it's going to be four months and then get you out. And t- you know what I mean? Like they want you to hunker down and be prepared for, yeah how many ever months it's going to be. So I understand their side of it for sure. Yo, but give me definitely... one second. There's a spider and I have to kill it. It's going <laughs> to piss me off. <laughs> All right, success. Good job. Dude, I feel like spiders freak me out. I can't have that. No. No, I'm not a fan of that. Yeah, it's, I think we're, to be honest, man, coming from playing a show every single day, sometimes three shows in one day, or like literally not having a day off, it's like, I kind of like what's happening right now where I get to just kind of make sure you realize that like I was living so fast paced. I didn't even know what day it was. It was just the same thing every single day, just waking up, going to the gym, going to a show, coming back home, falling asleep, never really creating music, never really sitting down and taking time to create music. I was always on like a time limit, you know? So now it's kind of, I have all the time in the world and within like three days, I've already like made like, 10 songs it's crazy how many songs i can make without having like 
being like, oh, okay, I got to go to a show later. So I don't want to sing too much or I don't want to play or record too much because I'm, I'm going to have to play for like four hours later. And, I, and I'm pretty sure, you know, because I have two friends – uh, one works for the National Geographic Channel, I think it is. Okay. And so they have backloads and backloads of, of TV shows that they're going to have to put out. So he's working. And then another friend of mine works for Mattel. Same thing, music and, and commercials. And these those guys, I mean, I think TV, I mean. I think it's going to do well because that's all, that's all people are watching right yeah. now. They Easy, definitely need you know? content, and that's the other thing you could potentially do if you wanted to would be to, you know, hit up some of these people who are doing, like, podcasts and say, hey, man, do you want some music? I mean, you know, I don't know budget-wise what they have, but at least to, this is that time. Yeah. Content's going to be king right now for sure, and people are doing it um, as best that they possibly yeah, can. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I've been making a lot of cover songs, but cover songs are great because people know the song already, and then you don't have to pay for the the extent price of like actually having like Janis Joplin singing a song, you know what I mean? You can just have a cover song of it and it gets the point across. So how does that work? But, uh, so I, how does that work with YouTube though? Like if you like sang me sing, a cover song, what would, like, uh, to be honest, no idea. <laughs> cool. I'm hope I'm hoping it, uh, I'm hoping, you know, they get partial, obviously probably some of the money will go to them, you know, yep. but, um, I, it has to it has to be both ways because there's, there's cover songs on Spotify. The cover songs are on Apple Music, you know. Yeah, yeah, but on Spotify, they're paying that person's getting that money, right? I mean, now I forget. I like no in idea. other words, if you did I'm, like with using Janis Joplin as a, an example, I think she gets that those royalties for the for the spins or the plays. I don't I think, think you she get gets them. partial of it. I think she oh, okay. gets the writing credit, but not like the publishing. No, so Spotify splits it up. However, they maybe feel. I could be completely okay. wrong. It just makes more. It, it would make sense if they get, you know, it goes because it's someone else is singing it. You know, they right. produce it. Uh, opening title sequence of my podcast. I have a song of somebody else's. Actually, it was my first guest. Um, he put, you know, he has a song that's on there. So I just kept it on there. And also, I ha he told me all I have to do is just make sure that it says it in the description box. You know, that is his song the song by him or whatever, and then the link to it. And they usually don't flag you for that. But I, you know, as, as far as like playing your music on this right now, I don't know how that works. Dude, um, I have no, I, I should know, I should know more about it. I feel like, but I, it's, um, I don't know either. It's yeah. a, it's a weird, uh, line with music getting paid anyways. Like even Spotify, even if it's your own song, you got to have like a million plays for like $5,000, maybe something like that. I mean, to really ha know how you get paid from, from Spotify. It, it goes into your tune core or like, um, uh, distro kid. These are all oh, like, yeah. uh, um, software is that you can put your music on then they put it on Apple music, iTunes, all that stuff, Spotify. I use TuneCore, and it costs like 10 bucks for a song to put up and then it goes on like everything. And then from, you know, plays from Spotify, Apple music, you do you get earnings from it. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, I don't know where music's going right now. Obviously sync and licensing is the best thing. Yeah, unless you're someone huge, not even huge. You gotta have a, you gotta have at least like thirty thousand fans that are listening to your music over and over again every month. Right. And that's the way you gotta make it. That's the way you're gonna make an income. But a lot of people, a lot of musicians, even like big musicians, they tour because that's how they really make their money. And they, right. they can't tour right now, so. Um, yeah, merch and all that stuff. Yeah, I mean, that's it's for a, sure. It's a, it's, a, it's a weird business. But my, the dream job would be able to not actually leave from my house like I'm doing right. right now. Like just doing music here, sending it out. Someone be like, yeah, we want this. Just we'll pay you. Here's your royalty. Here's your check from ASCAP. From the, you know? But um, that's hard to get into. And, and it's hard to be um, consecutive, uh, you know, consistent of having that income coming in, getting jobs left and right. Yeah. But whatever, you know. Yeah, I just know that at this point, people are looking for content. So you could find, you know, if you dig deep enough, you may be able to find that, you know, independent movie that needs music that, you know, that can't get their hands on other people. Yeah, I've, you know. I'm just trying to get to a point where I have so much music possible that when someone does, when it does come to time and someone asks for something, I don't have to go make it. It's already done. Yeah. You know, which is, um, 
like I sent you, I just recently sent you a, a SoundCloud link to a music reel and I sent yeah. that to a couple A&R people at Sony ATD. Um, they do licensings over there for uh, stuff like that. And I worked with them in the past. And so hopefully I sent them something. Hopefully they like it. They said they, they don't really have any projects coming up, but they want like a library of the best music that I could have. Like what's my genre, you know? And mine's really like indie rock, singer songwriter in that type of area. Yep. So I just sent them everything I got. That song, I think we talked about this before, because I feel like I've, you've sent me, the, you might have sent me one or two. I've, I feel like I've heard one or two of these songs before, but I maybe, so, it, and I think we've talked about this, the Goodwill Hunting song guy yeah. or whatever, right? What was his Kelly name? Smith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's a, I mean, that's a, that's kind of where your, that sound is going. I don't know if that's where you're heading or whatever, but that's kind of what um, I. I think, uh, I love watching movies with that vibe of music behind it. Yeah. Uh, it's a storytelling, but it's a, it gives, it gets, it gives it a mood, um, instead of just having like lots of instruments and it, it works both ways, you know, it can go both ways, but I really like. It's all about the recording process on that, and that's really just panning the the vocals and making it just a guitar single track in the middle, and that's what gives it that vibe. And what are you what are you working on? What's your DAW these days? What are you working on? I use on? Logic Pro X. I'm coming off from GarageBand, like in high school, and Logic Pro X is like the best thing coming from GarageBand. Something else, Logic, so, so easy to use. Yeah. Sorry, my dog's freaking out. That's the one that's thing fine. that sucks. My dog freaks out about anybody that walks past my door. All of a sudden, because no one's been, or just normal? um, she's just—I don't think she's just so used to being cooped up inside all day. Yeah, you don't. Do, are you taking her? her him, yeah, we her? go on walks, but once again, I don't like going outside that much. I don't like being outside. <laughs> I don't. I it's too many. Everyone's going out for a walk, so it's like left and right. I have to like switch sides on the sidewalks. I gotta, so go out late. Go yeah, out at like that's true. ten o'clock. That's what I did a couple nights ago, and I'll probably do it again. I usually leave. I, I it's so stupid. I usually leave my house around like ten o'clock at night, and it's a you great should, thing. You're to, still at where you're at, right? Mm-hmm. Nice. I literally that walk up. There. I walk up to that Ralph's. Yep. Like that, and then take a right on Ventura, and then I walk down to uh, Colfax, I guess. On the way, okay. And then just kind of do like a big loop, big right, loop Riverside, yeah. and, the and then come right back around. Yeah. Yeah, and there's I'm no ready. one out. I mean, for sure, 10 o'clock at night, there's no one out. And it gets you tired, you know, or, you know, kind of tired before you go to bed, too. So, yeah, dude, I've been doing, uh, I've been doing P90X, P90X and insanity, man. It's yeah, just yeah. Crazy. Every day I've been doing it. <laughs> it's kicking my ass. You got to do it. You. Hey, you know what? You'll be nice and toned by the time we get out of this. So. No, it's, it's, and it also makes, like, I canceled my gym membership and I'm probably never going to go back to it, to be honest. Um, I really can do everything from home. I think gyms are going to take the, biggest beating out of this yeah i don't well i, think I mean i think some are gonna go bankrupt possibly i mean you know me my exercise was disney and universal <laughs> which which they both <laughs> closed so, on me too so. so crazy man yeah it was it was actually it was kind of odd timing because my passes end at the end of february like yeah. march or whatever so i have to renew them usually then and i didn't because i felt like this was gonna you know about time before this was going to happen. So yeah, it's, it's it crazy out. that Disney world and everything is shut down. I mean, it makes sense, obviously, but yeah, no, just, for sure. It's just weird. <clears throat> we're, literally, we're literally living in a movie right now. Yeah. And we're living in a movie. Yeah. Well, I hope it's not the walking dead movie. I hope yeah, it's you know, something. No, yeah. I think, I think, I think obviously we're going to get through it. I think it's going to, it's, it's just going to change the world forever. Like every, you know how like social media wasn't a thing. And then it yep. became a thing. Yep. Social distancing is going to be a thing now. That's just going to be the new norm. Yeah, but the other thing, too, that I keep, because, again, I'm watching, you know, Segura and Joe Rogan and Whitney and yep. Nikki Glaser, all these people. Someone, and I think it might have been Tom Segura, who said that we're the virus. Yeah. And the Earth said, you know what? You probably need to step away for a second so I can heal or regroup. Which is or crazy whatever. how much the earth is healing. Oh my God. They talk at the Venice and the swans. I know, you know what I mean? And the fish coming back. And then even here, like walking at night, it's so much, you know, could we be getting a lot of I mean, rain so too? The but pollution too, you can like actually, there's like um, satellites going over like China and you can yep. see how much like the pollution is completely like gone. Totally different. So, I mean, there's, you have to look, there is a silver lining that yeah, way, obviously. It's just, it's crazy, man. Yeah. And it's so weird how it affects certain people, like 
could kill you. And then the same thing could be in someone else and it doesn't do a damn thing. Yeah, I know. And it's not an age thing. They kept said at the beginning it was an age thing, and now it's not because there's kids that are young that are passing, and there are people that are very old that are passing, and everything in between. There was a 30 something year old who passed too. But so, yeah, no, it's not. It's, and then they're talking about blood types, which I don't know what I am. So, yeah, I don't know. It's a little. <laughs> the do I did. I, I heard know. that too. I was like, Fuck, what blood type am I? I know. I, would, I don't even know how to check. I would have to call my doctor, and it's like he probably has a million yeah, things I mean, to I do have right my now. Blood work. Like I can see like what my cholesterol is and everything. I wonder if yeah. they know what blood I am from that. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, maybe it might be on that. I don't know. Uh, that's a good thing. I maybe I have to check it because I have some sort of like patient portal on my. Uh, yeah, me too. My Who yeah, are you yeah, with? Yeah. I'm with Kaiser. No, I wouldn't go with Kaiser. They're the worst. Kaiser baby. <laughs> um, and so I see that your hair's still kicking. Dude, I'm going through the awkward phase, man. Still. How that's what I, that so you see I have my glasses on right now. This is what's killing me right now. This yeah, don't right judge here. me, but this you right gotta here, use, you got to use a little bit of product and you got to blow dry. Well, I do blow dry because if I don't, my hair is like goes out that. You got yeah, product it's like, and literally just, have a fro. and then you just go, keep going like that to like train your hair to go down. Just on the sides, or you do everywhere? Just the sides. Yeah, yeah. And that's about, I'm almost getting past the aqua stage where it's like kind of going down here, which is good. But it's like, what I did was I kept my hair long at the top and I shaved the sides, which was yeah. stupid. Was that's what I was doing. That's why I'm at that. I mean, I'm probably a couple months behind you, maybe even oh, more at this stupid. point because I, I was shaving that. my sides because I liked the top getting long. And then after a while, it's like, this is stupid. And then the side, like it's all flinging out, like, you know, like little, ugh. And I, but I can't do a, a douchebag ponytail thing or whatever you do. So. <laughs> Yeah, dude, I never do a ponytail. I always do a messy bun. Yeah, I can't do that yet. And even if I do, it's just the top. It's not yeah. the sides still sticking out. I don't know out, why. So. I don't know why I switched it up. I was just like, um, oh, I had long hair. I'm gonna cut the sides, make it look cool. And then right when I did, I was like, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> fuck and myself. so, but you did. You did a. Um, you did some sort of Instagram story, like, um, what are those things called, where you ask a bunch of people to vote. Oh yeah, cutting or not cutting my hair. Yeah. People, dude, it's pretty fifty-fifty. But oh, really? at the end, a lot of people said um, keep the hair long. Oh really? Uh, but yeah. I could look at pictures back and forth. I think my hair long makes me look older, uh, and when I have it short, I look younger for sure. Yeah. So it's kind of like, do I want to look older? <laughs> you know. You know. I think to, to be honest, it's just easier for me to maintain. A lot of people are like, oh, longer hair must be so hard. It's easy as hell. You just put it up and you're done. Yeah. Shorter hair, you gotta like style it and yeah, yeah. make sure the wind doesn't come the wrong way. Or you, yeah, oh, that's you the fly. worst. I can't stand it. It's a. Yeah. I mean, I literally was in that that middle stage. You know, like I'm in that middle stage right now, which is again perfect timing oh, for us to be in a quarantine, so I can just <laughs> let it. I can just be an idiot basically during the day when I'm you know hanging out at the house. Yeah, dude, um, I mean, it's weird to, like, dress up, like, actually put jeans and a shirt on. Oh, yeah. I, you know, I mean, just rock. I have sweats like, on. I have my yeah, sweatpants exactly. on and my, my little Rocking flip-flops. jeans and, like, I work out in the morning, so I have, yeah. like, fucking gym shorts. But then I'm like, should I shower? It's like, yeah, I guess I should. You should shower at least every couple of days. <laughs> no, for sure. I've been doing it every day. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. Because if I don't shower, I feel weird. Yeah, yeah. I don't feel, like, awake. Right. So I got to uh, get that shit out of there. <clears throat> um... And so, uh, so you're writing a lot, obviously, or trying to write. And then all the all the places that you worked are are all restaurants, yeah, and venues. So they all basically. So I work at a couple casinos, a couple hotels, and the rest are restaurants. And um, everything is shut down to further notice. Yeah. So, it's um, it's weird because the first place that let me get not let me go, but told them you know, this is what's happening. We're going to have to close. It was the peninsula in Beverly Hills. And that stopped two weeks before everything else. They saw it coming. And I think they saw it coming because they weren't getting booked anymore at the hotel. Yeah. No one wanted to spend, you know, that's a very fancy hotel. So you're getting- Yeah, no, I've been in Plinces. Where, uh, I don't know if you want to give, I mean, I guess you could give your the five fans that listen to my show uh, where you, but uh, the, um, in the, where, in the lobby? Uh, outside in the back uh, at the restaurant. It's an outdoor uh, uh, patio where oh. they do Sunday brunch. Oh, oh, so you're there on Sundays. Yep. And then I'm at the casino in San Manuel Casino. Um, I'm everywhere, man. I, I yeah. really am. Like when I say that, I really am like kind of everywhere at a restaurant or some venue in Southern Los Angeles. Yeah. And then you were talking about moving. 
Yeah, I think it will. We're looking, we were looking to buy a house in Orange County area, in Ladera Ranch area. Um, we found a couple that we really liked. Uh, we actually, we we're, were going to put an offer on one of them, but then there were like seven offers on it. And I was like, you know, fuck that. I'm not, I'm not having a bid anymore. Like I'm trying to get a good price, not a price that's over, you know, but hopefully because of what's going on, the real estate will go down and um, we'll be able to find a house. But yeah, we're looking, I just like it out there. It's nicer. Yeah. I mean, it definitely is a lot nicer. I like being I in the city too, but fuck, there's too many homeless people, bro. It's getting worse in, in my neighborhood too. Like right underneath the 101, that bridge, it started oh, yeah. off, it was so clear for the longest time. And then one moved in and then two and then three. And it's just. Dude, I parked in my car last night in my garage and I get out and I hear someone saying, I will fucking murder you right here. I was like, oh, great. Oh my God. Was he yeah, talking dude. to you or was he talking to himself? Dude, I have no idea. It was just under the bridge. Oh. Uh, wait, you I'm park like, on the street? Fucking... What? You park on the street? No, no, no. I have like oh. a parking structure, but the back of my parking structure is goes looks at the river, the L.A. River right oh, yeah. there. And you just, there's crazy people down there. Oh, man. Good times. Oh, yeah, dude. It's, um, when my parents come out here, they, it's weird though, because I'm from Connecticut. So when I go home, it's so quiet and that freaks me out. It, yeah. it being too quiet, I'm always like, there's going to be a serial killer that comes out of the fucking woods and murder me. <laughs> out here in LA, I'll hear like gunshots and like sirens going off. I'm like, I feel safe. <laughs> it's weird. The other thing too is, uh, you know, I there was, a, again, going back to Tom Segura for some reason, but he had some guy on, uh, I think his name is Grant Cardone or Cardoni or something. Mm -hmm. He was on a while ago. It was like when I first started like kind of getting into Tom and his his one of his podcasts Dude, he's hilarious you see his new uh his new special, special? oh my god it's amazing <laughs> it's so funny i Good. still watch the one right before it actually yeah. which is h hilarious like like so like so bad that i could probably recite the whole thing like, <laughs> i like joe rogan's strange times that's the best one yeah that one's super good he needs to put a new one out asap yeah I, I don't think joe i think joe's just i think he's probably working on one i'm sure he's and then good. And Bert Kreischer had one right before, and his is good. I don't like um, the new one. You don't? I like Secret Time. Or sp yeah. sec secret, something Secret Time, I think it was called. Yeah, he's a he's a he's he's an acquired taste. I don't like his new one. I mean, I shouldn't say I don't like it. It's not as, I don't find it as funny as his last one. Right. Yeah, yeah. no, I agree. And I could say that about Tom Segura's too, though, because yeah. I think the ones before that were so great. But the hard to top yourself sometimes. I literally stayed up. I mean, it was it came out like Tuesday night or something at midnight, and I literally was watching TV up until and like twelve oh one. I flipped on Netflix like, and watched it. Go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> was waiting for it the whole day. Did I remember? Uh, you see, have you seen Ozark? No. You gotta watch that. The new season three came out today. Ozark is the, the shit. That's a great show. Um, we'll come back to the TV cause I do want to talk to that, but the, but he would, the Grant Cardone guy was talking about, um, yeah. not, he lived out, he was a, a, you know, I don't know, bazillionaire, whatever you want. He's got a ton of money. And when he lived in California, he only rented, he never, ever bought. No way. And, yeah. He always rented houses. He's like, one, it's a tax write off. And two, when the water heater breaks, you call somebody and they come and fix it. Yeah. When you have your water heater, you have to pay for it. There was a bunch of things. Yeah, I mean, you know what I mean? Like he was, he said, it's buy, he said, buy other properties, like go buy a property in Connecticut or something and rent it or Airbnb it. Well, he said warm weather though, actually. He no, was more warm weather. The problem, like I've looked into that. The problem with that is you got to find a good manager and you got to find reliable tenants. There's like, you know, it's yeah. a whole process of buying a place and getting it buying a place, making sure you can have it rented out, making sure the people that are renting it out aren't fucking up the place, you know? Um, I think I just want to have a place I can just feel like home, you know? I don't like renting. I don't like renting just because it's, it's, um, I don't know, I just want more than one bedroom, you know? <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, yeah, I guess. I mean, you know me, I've, well, you actually haven't known me since I've had houses, but before I always had houses. And then I just, it just didn't make it, it doesn't make any sense to me. Especially because I, you know, it's just it's so much more like to take care of. <laughs> no, it's a I've been both ways, you know. But oh, for sure, having that other house, you know, having um, having that property, basically, you know, the other thing too, you could get uh, like a not a staycation, but something it like 
I don't know, up by a lake. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like Lake there. Erie or something random, like Montana Lake or something where it's a vacation spot, but you could also Airbnb it. And that then is, you can find some, idea. you know, you find somebody local who, you know, some kid or some older woman or something who will come by and change the sheets and check on well, it. And then if you wanted to go vacation. Uh, making your money work for you would be a nice situation. Right. Fucking uh, just working constantly isn't the most fun. Yep. <laughs> Um, and then TV. So you said Ozark. What else are you watching? Oh, fuck, did dude. you get Disney Plus? Yeah, oh, I got everything. Well, you know, I did that the first day it came out. But <laughs> did you watch uh, Mandalorian? Yeah, that was all right. Well, it's the only. I'm not really a fan of anything Marvel or Star Wars, anyways, except yeah. for the original Star Wars. But the the Mandalorian is it's obviously based on it. I'm assuming, but it's loose. Would- it's it's more of a show to me than it is about. Little Yoda uh, and all that stuff. I wish they had like a rated R Disney, so they it could be more more intense, or you know what I mean? Because yeah. like Disney's good, but it's Disney, so it's like it's you know it's just like I hate the new Star Wars movies now yeah. because it's owned by Disney. You can just tell it's owned by Disney, you know. Um, it's great for if you're like a kid or whatever. I think a hundred percent, but the old it, the older Star Wars movies had a more of a a vibe to it. It's a more I don't know, something. Well, that's the thing, too. Like, I don't like any of the Marvel movies. The only Marvel movie that I think that I've ever seen, let alone, you know, would be um, Deadpool. Oh, that was good. Right. You know what I mean? Like, that's more. And then even I watching- I like the actor, though. I fucking hate that actor. You hate Ryan Reynolds? Oh, I don't not like How do him. you hate Ryan Reynolds? Dude, it, I don't, it's nothing against him. I just don't like the way he acts. Whenever he acts, I feel like he's acting, if that makes sense. Yeah. He's the I same like character- it's Ryan Reynolds acting. It's not. I don't believe that character is a real character. Right. Well, he's you know? the same. He seems like the same character that he was in, you know, the college movie that he was in. He's in was yeah. It? He doesn't. He's the same thing in everything. Yeah. He does it well. I mean, people like him. So I can't yeah. Hate. But but Disney has. Well, they used to. I don't know if they still do. But obviously, it's Walt Disney Pictures. But they also used to have Hollywood Pictures, which was their rated R, you know, genre yeah. of their yeah. movies or something. So I'm sure. And then, obviously, with them buying Marvel, I'm sure they'll get. They're probably going to have to get both because you can't take Deadpool. I, I don't know that that whole that whole world is is weird to me. I know, but the one thing I have to say is, have you seen Frozen Two? <laughs> no. The one thing that I have to say, like I, you know me, I'm a huge. Why like, have you fucking seen it? <laughs> I'll tell you why. Because the music in it is phenomenal. Is it, that, is it good? Oh, my God. Have you not seen Adina's new song, whatever, the Into the Unknown? Uh, so you, you like Wicked and shit, don't you? Well, no, not necessarily. Okay. I mean, but I just like, well, you, you know, I'm trying to put that, you know, musical. I'm trying, you know, like Greatest Showman is, is a, a, have you seen that movie? I have. That's kind of a movie that I'd like to do. That would be like something that I'd like. Not, it's going to be this year. It doesn't look like it's going to happen, but I'd like I to like do to that. I like to see movies like that live. Like a Broadway play is way different than seeing it like on through a movie. Like when right. it's a Broadway play, I don't find it cheesy. When I see it on a movie, I find it cheesy, which is yeah. weird. No, that makes sense. But, you know, um, Let It Go was like the huge, huge, you know, obviously the huge signal. And then, and, and this, and Into the Unknown, man, I know it's not their marquee song, I guess you could call it, or their, I don't know what it would be. It wasn't like the main, main song of the movie. Yeah. It was kind of like a throw in, but it is so, you know, Ryan and I were at Disney whenever, you know, probably yesterday or whatever, but we, you listen to it when you're at the parks and you even like the speakers that come out of the parks are just so, I don't even know how they mix. Like whoever the mixer is for these guys is just phenomenal, it, dude. Yeah. The music, that's the one thing I like about it. I mean, melt of, uh, aside from, you know, the <laughs> dude, parks. You, you love Disney, man. <laughs> <You're> probably, <laughs> aside even, you aside from the parks. I love Disney. <laughs> I've never seen someone like Disney more than you. It's crazy. <laughs> I get exercise, Always man. That's what it's for. It's <laughs> literally yeah. for Here's exercise. A fucking car, man. Here's a fucking car <laughs> so but funny, dude. music is is a huge thing, obviously, in my life. But th- through them, I just the music I love from that. So no, dude, I always like watching Disney the opening credit with the castle. 
yeah. right away I get a vibe. I'm like, yeah, yeah. you know, <laughs> it's weird, but it's the truth. They, you get a vibe from it. How's Ryan doing, by the way? Uh, which one? Cabrera? Yeah, is he chilling in L.A. or was he at? Uh, he's um, at an undisclosed location right now that I can't share. <laughs> I can tell you after, but I can't tell you now. Yeah, staying safe, though? Yeah. He, he's uh, what? Stay, staying safe? Yeah, yeah. Okay, he's good. healthy yeah. and happy and yeah, he's he's fine. Um, oh man, dude. So what uh what other are you binge watching or you, what's uh where are you dude, at with like, TV? I've been getting in like to shows, but dude, at the same time, I'm like trying to not watch TV because like I've watched so much. Um, like dude, I watched Girlfriend's Guide to Divorce with my girlfriend. That shit was fucking stupid. Mm. <laughs> Couldn't handle that, but I watched all the seasons. Um, what else was good that I liked recently? I'm trying to think of the so Ozark on... is what I'm really on right now. What is Ozark? Okay, that's hey, really did you, good. You're on Netflix, so did you watch um, Peaky Blinders? Did you ever get into that? No, but have you seen Tiger King? No, I haven't seen it. Everyone oh, keeps dude! talking about it. Watch Tiger King. <laughs> I finished it in one night. Really? Oh, How many so... episodes is it? Eight, dude, six, like ten episodes, and each ten? one's like an hour long. Oh my god! I just went right through it, dude. The main character is, dude. They hit jackpot with that guy. He is yeah. crazy. Oh man! It's fucking, dude. I love that. It was such an interesting document. He's in jail now, but he's, yeah, he's great. Yeah, because I've been watch again watching podcast, and everyone's not ruining it. I mean, I'll still watch it, but they're yeah. you know they're basically kind of giving out. Oh, you can't what's ruin about. it. You can know everything about it. It doesn't ruin it. You just yeah. you know, the way he talks and what he does is just like I can't believe this human being exists. He also is a pretty good musician too, from what I've gathered. <laughs> he, is. <laughs> he is, and his music videos are killer. <laughs> like bad, like I like like horrible. Okay. but they're amazing. Okay, I was gonna say because what they were saying is it's just you would, wouldn't think that he would be. He is pretty talented, is what they're what they were. You know, no, he can sing saying. and he can. It's just so cheesy. Oh yeah. But like, if if someone like branded him better and made his lyrics and just said sing this and made a legit video, you would think he's a country singer. Yeah. But it's him like walking around the park, like shaking awkward people's hand with a cowboy hat. I was like, <laughs> it's very weird. That's awesome. Dude, it's a good show though. Tiger Kings, they did a good job on that. Um, what else am I? I there's not really much else. I'm just trying to get, uh, like, I've been watching, like, because I'm trying to stay away from TV, so I've been kind of staying, you know, watching those old old TV shows. Like, I'm on House right now. I don't oh, know no if you way. remember that. Nope. Um, probably watch Breaking Bad again. Yeah, someone said the other day, actually, I think it was on Howard Stern, said that if you watch it again, it's, you know, it's better. It's not better, but it's like you can enjoy it just as much yeah, you because you're not waiting for the next week's episode. You can watch the next, you know what I mean? You can stop whenever you want kind of a thing. What else so, is a good show? You watch Westworld? I used to watch it, but then I tapped out after a while. Yeah, I watched the first season. After the second, after the first season, I was like, I don't really like the characters. Yeah. But it was um, good. Carnival Row. Mm-mm. You didn't watch that? Good? Yeah, that one's good. I mean, I she's good. I mean, she, and Ka- Cara Delevingne and Orlando Bloom and Cara, you know, I don't know where she supposedly she came. I don't know where she came from before. She used to be an actor, but whatever it is, this role, she's so good in. Like, I just I I, I hope I don't see anything. You know, I hope I don't want to ruin it from her other things because everyone said that she was never a good actress. I think she's phenomenal in this. So I don't know. If, was, do you like Aunt Orlando Bloom? Not really, but he's yeah. good in this one, too, though. Okay. The first couple episodes are kind of like, but then he swings into it, and it, it actually is pretty good. But she I takes it. I see him as a pirate. I know, right? You know? Yeah, no, he's definitely, yeah. I don't, but he, he also really has, was in Lord of the Rings. He's the guy that did the bow and arrow, so I forgot about that. Yeah, I didn't see that one either. Yeah, I didn't, you know, not the best. <laughs> um. Well, I don't know. I guess that's it, man. I just wanted to catch up. I haven't seen you in forever. You don't come out because you're working 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Yeah, man. Not anymore, so fuck me. Yeah, no, but it's like, it's 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 either, it's like from one thing to that, like now when you were working, you couldn't find the time and now you're not working and you can't get out of your house. So it's like, <laughs> I can't, you know what I mean? And I, you're like the third person that I've spoke to this way 
yeah. who's literally like blocks away from me, who I'm like, just come over. Like, what's the big deal? And everyone's just like, no, no, no. I'm like, you know what? That's fine. And I can do this. This works just as good. And it, you know, too much, it, too much anxiety, man. Yeah, I, I have it like even without it. And it, with it now, I'm just like, and people with don't have anxiety. Cause I never had, I never really always have it, had anxiety. It just happened over the last like couple of years. And before that, I'd be like, just get over it. Like it's nothing. You know what I mean? It's like, whatever. But then you, when you have it, like, Oh shit, like this is something you can't turn off. It's like right. it's there, even if you don't want it, you know, I've always been kind of that, you know, OCD kind of a person anyways. I mean, even when I would go to like the Starbucks, I take my, I always took my sleeve and opened the door. I never touched my fit. I've been like that forever anyways. So it's not anything new to me, but I am being a little bit more, you know, cautious about things. Again, yeah, even yeah, like yeah, when going yeah, to supermarket. Yeah. If I go to the supermarket. I'm so like cracking up in pieces, dude. I got to put lotion on them. It's horrible. <laughs> I can't even tell you how many times I wash my hands a day. Literally, yeah. I want to count it one time. Yeah. Probably yeah, over it's, 30. Probably over 30. Yeah, you should definitely be putting lotion on right after that, too. No, I have been now, dude, because I really have, like, cuts on my hand. Yep. It's fucked up. Well, shit, man. It was good talking to you, dude. Yeah, it was good. I'm glad we could do this. And um, uh, So you're going to perform something for me right now, yeah? Fuck if I have to, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, my five fan, my five followers or fans or viewers oh, want to see that. That's right. <laughs> so surprise me. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, whatever you get is, I'll be happy for. All right, man. That and then, good. Uh, but and keep in touch with me. And if you need anything, obviously I'm not that far away. So you're not. You're a, you're a toss away, a thrown stone away. <laughs> for real. Um, all right, buddy. Thank you very much. Jesus, man. Stay safe, brother. You too. Tell no lies, I see the future every time